What's up guys, this is Tabletop Vibes and today we're taking a look at Hegemony by Hegemonic Project. Jason? Holy cow, this, this is game. so good. Oh. This was such a great game. It's insane. It is based off of basically the four different classes in society. It's based off of corporations, the state, the working class, and the middle class and how they have totally integrated it's all of these classes together. Crazy. Where one basically influences the other. Yeah. This is absolutely amazing. Bit of a brain burner. Yeah, you're- Lot to learn. A lot. But so rich. It is, it is. So rich. It's, uh, the way that everything flows together, oh, like so Jason was saying, is it's insane. Um, I played at, well, I played this game four times now. We played, mm -hmm. uh, we, t we played a two player, we played a three player, and we played a four player. Yeah. Um, I personally like playing as the state. Capitalist all the way. Yeah, you're yeah. like the capitalist class. Surprise, I like surprise. playing as the state. <laughs> the state is, like, everybody's paying you for what I do, and I'm trying to affect the policies that are out on the board to align with, well, my wants. Right, and so the capitalist class, which, surprise, surprise, wants to make money. That's how they mainly do stuff, and they do that through business creation. They want greed. to make businesses. Yeah, <laughs> greed is good, greed is good. <laughs> Uh, green makes green. Right. And of course, then, then you've got the uh, the working class and yes. you have the, um, middle class. the middle class. And, you know, they're kind of trying to do this whole balance thing between getting money but satisfying their uh, their wants and needs. Yeah. So, like, the working class, I got to play at a, a different time, which because we all kind of mixed it up. Um, the working class, you want to put out your workers to different buildings, either state buildings or corporate buildings, trying to make the best wages that you can make. You're trying to uh, get trade unions um, to make... And benefit yourself. You have to. You have a popularity track because you got to keep people happy. Yep. You got your population track because you have a lot of people that that you're managing, and then you got to feed all these people. <laughs> that is. Yo, the, people need to eat. Go yeah, it's unfortunate, but it has to happen. And so you're trying to do all these different things. You can go on strike. Yep. Uh, I am wearing the colors, like capitalist colors, working class colors. There you um, go. And uh, you can do it on strike. You can uh, different businesses and try to shut them down for a little mm -hmm. bit. So, and then the middle class, you're like a little bit higher, bougier person than the, the working class. And uh, you got your taller workers. The meeples are like bigger and the working classes are smaller. It's kind of comical. Um, and you're trying to satisfy the needs of each of these businesses between working class and middle class to assign your workers to go work. Right, and so that the businesses themselves through all this work, they're going to get lots of goods because right. that's what businesses do and services, mostly goods. Um, and so then the idea is that they're going to have two different markets that they can sell this to. They can right. sell them to the foreign markets and there's some benefits with that. They're, they don't have to pay tariffs because of certain rules here. It's limited. It's limited to the amount that they can sell or they can put it in their general supply. They uh, get tariffs as you know things come in if you buy from the outside. Like an offshore account. But you can sell it to the rest of the of the people, like right, I can Adam, buy. Adam's right. people need food. Right, my companies produce food. Right, here you go, Adam. I am more than gracious to give you this food yeah, for a price. As he's price gouging for a crap price. out of me. For a right, price. and so it's like the coolest part. And then the state does its own thing where you can get goods, and you can actually get handouts. The state gets taxes. Yeah, and like the state taxes. can give you yeah. handouts and make victory points off of of giving you guys goods to right. like just we're giving away as helpful need you know helpful yep. state. Yes. Um, and so like again, like you you got seven action cards in your hand mm -hmm. you're gonna play five two will carry over to the next round mm -hmm. everybody has their own deck yes. um and all asymmetrical think of root like it's all totally yeah it is a yeah. lot like root where yeah. like the state plays this way this place but then at the same time everything you do affects everybody on the board pretty much the entire game. yeah i mean money is definitely to pass from player to player or goods pass from player to player and so what you do directly impacts somebody else. So sometimes you may not want to do the best thing for you yeah. because it overly helps somebody else and may say, I'm gonna help this other group instead, right. even though it's not as good for me. Right, and like, so like working class is generating workers. Capitalist class is building buildings for workers to go to. Middle class is going to either build buildings or put out their workers. The state is gonna move That's policies back and forth, tax everybody, make it, have some sure. free stuff to throw out to make themselves feel better about themselves. <laughs> and everybody goes around. So you have five entire rounds of the game, but you're playing five action cards yeah, per round. Okay. So in your turn, actually, you can do a whole host of different things again, yeah. based on what people do, but it's really divided into a couple of categories. So you can do the action that's actually on the card. Yes. So whatever that's it says, number one. you go do it, okay? Sometimes these things have prerequisites that you have to fulfill or certain policies that have to be a certain level. You can also throw away that card and you can 
do a basic action. And this is, again, limited to specifically how your faction works, your class works. Um, and you're going to be wanting to do that, really kind of build the, the infrastructure around your you're, class. Yeah. You also have some free actions, and this helps you a lot to manipulate the board a little bit in your favor. Yeah. But you can only do one free action. Yeah, there's, you know, the other action that everybody can do across the board is propose a bill. Yes. Oh, okay. So political. There is a political oh, yeah. section to this game. It is mainly focused off of policy. So there are seven different policy sections. Yep. To make it more complicated. <laughs> uh, there's uh, right. fiscal policy, labor market, taxation, health something, welfare, foreign trade, and immigration. So yep. it covers the whole gambit. And this is not a how to play. Right. This is right. just us going over and all the fun stuff we had. Every faction is going to have their different incentives. So for example, the corporation wants everything in the neo-capitalism section. They don't want to give away anything. They want yeah. the policy to be the best, taxation to be the best, highest immigration policy. That's their goal. They want everything to be theirs. Yeah, and, <laughs> and nobody else controlling. Yeah. yeah. Stay away. Working class wants, well, obviously you want it to be fair wages. You want to get paid the most while doing the less work you can. Right, so they want the opposite yeah. end of the spectrum. The state yeah. wants each piece, like they have their own little card, and they want each piece to reflect that so that they can make more victory points. Right, the, the state game. is like customized, like they have a have a mission to say we want yeah. this, 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 and this. If you can get people yeah. to align with you, yeah. it's going to be even better. So so that's the, that's, the, um, that's the policies and how this actually works when you want to change them on your turn. You can propose that you want to move it from one step to the next step. And then at the end of the turn, you're going to have a baggie of cubes. Yeah. Bag pulling. Yeah. It's terrible. Uh, and it wasn't that. this game again. Uh, <laughs> oh, my bag pulling is terrible. And what you're basically going to do is you're going to pull five cubes from the bag. Yep. And you have the colors of all the players. And except whoever, for state. Except for state. And whoever has the majority of cubes is in the lead. Right. But this is where the state, the state can spend his own influence yep. or its influence to sway. Right. But he's saying about influence. So everybody has influence, yep. which can add more vote for or against cubes. Yep. Whoever is the winner gets some victory points, but then gets their cubes removed from the bag. Harder the losers all go back into the bag. So just because you've lost a policy, you actually have a higher chance of getting the yeah. For the next policy. Right. So, and that makes the person that won have yeah. to go repopulate the bag by right. getting out there and Good commissioning balance. votes. Great balance. Yeah, yes. it's so cool. Yeah. And again, it's just crazy. You probably are like, what the crap are they talking about? They're all over the place. It's because that's life. Yes. That's all life. over the place. That's life. Um, that's the structure of this game. I mean, we, we so were talking cool. about it. We were saying like, man, in terms of the complexity and 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 all the intricacies it's like yeah. twilight imperium that's my game yeah. twilight imperium ish is just like there's just so much here to learn but it's so integral and interconnected well, and you actually oh, so you actually feel like you're embodying the well, clash you're it's playing it's totally representative like, yeah 100 it totally is and the other cool part is on a lot of these cards that we all have for our asymmetric factions they benefit some of the cards you play can benefit like if jason plays a certain card it can have my symbol on it which moves mm -hmm. me up or the state plays this and gives the working class or middle class this or gives the capitalist and so you're always like how is this going to benefit right. me which is the lesser of the two evils it's politics right there it yep. is yep. lesser of the two evils and you're literally like trying to just gauge where you're at and at the end of five rounds you tally it all up there's a pre there's a production phase uh that you go through that kind of like resets it for the right. next round for everybody um everybody pays out on their taxes right everybody pays their taxes. Goods, like everybody sells it like right. there's like all these different phases again the game is insanely right. beautiful but at the end of the day only one class can win yeah so be the best class you can be and lead it to victory <laughs> and that's and it to the, to the detriment of all other classes exactly. that's your goal so take no prisoners Make all the money you can. Don't work hard, hardly work. Get free stuff. Get free stuff. Change life how you want it to be. <laughs> We're Tabletop Vibes, this is Hegemony, and we'll check you next time.